Hey you guys, today's tutorial is brought to you by my Blast followers. I put up a poll in Blast Beauty asking them what was the next look that they wanted to see and I gave them four options. It was a 60's mod twiggy look, a smoky green and a smoky purple, and a pink and blue combination that I called cotton candy. Um, surprisingly, a lot of people voted for the smoky purple, and I say surprisingly because a lot of people do the smoky eye in so many different colors, and I figured people would be tired of it by now, but not so, the smoky one, and today I'm going to be doing a smoky purple for you, so here you go. For this look, I'm going to be using a variation of colors. I'm going to be using different shades of purple. The first shade I'm going to use is this, and this is called Plum Crazy. It's a Victoria's Secret eyeshadow, and I'm going to put it about this area of my lid. This is what I'm going to start with. It's going to be the base to smoke it out. Okay, so I'm done putting the first layer of it fell. <laughs> I'm done putting the first layer of the purple and I know it looks kind of unfinished, but it's because when I blend it out it's gonna all flow together. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the other purple I'm gonna be using, which is a lavender purple, the one right there in the middle, and I'm gonna blend it with that one. So I'm gonna take it from here, blend it and bring it up. first layer of the dark purple and the first layer of the, the lavender purple. Now I'm going to go over again with this purple and just define it. The key to this is layering and blending, so I'm going to be doing this a couple of times. Now for the second layering of this. One more time with this purple. Okay, now the blending is done. Now for the crease, I'm going to take this color. Now it looks like a black, but I don't know if my camera is going to catch it. It has purple reflex of glitter in it, and I'm going to put that in the crease just to make it a little bit stronger. Now that really deep black purple was a really good transition the crease to connect the lavender purple and the plum crazy Victoria's Secret purple that I put down there. I'm going to take a little bit more of the um, lavender just to blend it out some more, just to soften the edges. And because the color is so light you can kind of bring it up higher, like right under the brow bone. We're going to put a highlight there later. Okay, so far, the most of the work is done. Now what I'm going to do is put the highlight, some eyeliner, smudge it out mascara, but I want to show you real quick this um, iridescent color that I have. If I can find the brush, I'll just use this one. Now, iridescent means, see if you look at this, you would not even know that that was a lavender shimmery purple, but when you put it on, that's when you see the color, and it's one of those things that you know when you change it in the light you see it more. My camera probably isn't picking it up, but I'm going to put this in the inner corner near the tear ducts of my eyes to brighten up my eye area. 
So you're just going to take the color and work it right there to brighten up the eye area and add like a pop. Upstairs in bed with my ex boy. He's in a place, but I can't get joy. Thinking on you in the fire. You're going to want to be very gentle with that because your tear duct is very sensitive, and like right now, I'm tearing up already. But it's easy to do, just get the hang of it. So, just in the corner, it'll brighten up the eye area really nicely. Now the purple in the tear ducts is done, and I don't know if you can tell right now, but it really does add um, a pop of color right into the tear ducts. Now for the highlight up there, I'm going to take this one, this coat from this palette that I have, and use it as my highlight. And it's like, it's a white, but it has, of course, a pimp purple tint to it. Okay, so everything is pretty much done. I just need to put the eyeliner on and smudge it out on the bottom a little bit and then the mascara. Now, this is what I'm going to use to smudge it out. What I'm going to do is apply the eyeliner and then use this and just smoke it out a little bit. I'll show you. And now I'm going to take this and just gently blend and you can blend it into the iridescent purple that you put on the corners okay and I'm going to do that again to this side Okay, so my eyes are pretty much done, if you can tell. I have the uh, smoky eye done. I did my eyeliner and mascara, the brow highlight, and now I'm going to do the cheeks and the lips. What I'm going to use as a blush is this one, and I've used this one before, but as you can tell, it's really, really loud and probably looks like a crayon color. But the key is just to use a light hand and to blend it really well. Alright, and the blush is done. Now on to the uh, lips. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine this pink lip gloss, and it's an iridescent pink, just like the inner corner. If you turn it on, it has different colors. I think it's called Cotton Candy. Yeah, it has like a pink, and then it looks kind of purplish. And then I'm going to combine that with this um, lipstick, which is called... Jazzy Plum. There's a lot of plums, purples going on here. I'm not going to put this on all the way because as you can tell it's really bright out there, 80s looking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use most of the gloss and just mix it there. Just take off uh, slightly and then just put it on. And the lipstick is what gets, gives it that just like a nice little hint of a purple. I don't want to go all out because purple lips are purple eyes, just, just, that's too much. But just a little tint of color. Like if you have a lip gloss that's um, purple tinted, that would be fine. Or you could just use a pink lip gloss, it really doesn't matter. That is up to you. So this is the uh, finished look. Eyes, lips, and cheeks, everything's done. And I hope you guys liked it because after all, you're the ones who voted for it. So this is the uh, finished purple smoky look, and if you liked any of the other options that I said earlier, the 60s mod, the smoky green, or the cotton candy look, which is the baby pink and navy blue, let me know, and I'll still do those, but this is the one that won, so here you go. Bye.